There are so many studies that link not getting enough good quality sleep to increased risk of heart disease and stroke, inflammation, and depression. Not to mention, it's not very much fun when you're tired all the time, right? Having an evening routine that can help you relax can really help improve the quality of your sleep. So to help you with your bedtime routine, I have a calming, relaxing flow called moon salutation or Chandra Namaskar, which in Sanskrit means moon salutation. So there are many different kinds uh, and variations of moon salutation, but one of the common elements is that we'll do a sequence on one side leading to a pose, and then we'll reverse that sequence on the other side to get back to the starting position. Doing it that way makes it more fun and interesting, but it also has a calming effect on the mind and the sympathetic nervous system. Now that's the part of your nervous system that reacts to stress by inducing a fight or flight response in the body. And if your sympathetic nervous system is activated, you're probably not gonna sleep very well tonight. So this flow does a great job at helping to relax your mind, calm the sympathetic nervous system, and it will set you up for a great night's sleep. Let's begin in an easy, comfortable seat. You can sit with legs crossed, you can sit up on your heels, on cushions, whatever you like to feel grounded and relaxed. That's the most important thing. Sit up nice and tall, so lift the heart, lift the crown of your head, and let the shoulders melt softly from your ears. And close your eyes. And bring your hands to your knees or wherever they feel most comfortable. Let's take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Let the shoulders melt from the ears. One more time like that. Big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth. Let the breath go. Relax. Let's come back to a normal breath in and out through the nose. And bring your awareness to the crown of your head and feel a soft melting sensation from the crown of your head across your scalp relax and soften feel your brow and your forehead start to smooth and relax relax your eyes Relax your cheeks. Relax your ears all the way down the line of the jaw to the chin. With each exhale, continue to deepen and let go of any tension that you find in the muscles of your face, your jaw, Feel that melting sensation dissolve into the neck and the shoulders. Every exhale, it's as if tension is dissolving into the breath, melting into the earth. Let's go a little bit deeper with the breath now and we'll move into a very simple, powerful breathing exercise. It's called a four-part breath. And we simply inhale through the nose for four. We'll hold at the top for four. We'll exhale through the nose for four. And we'll hold at the bottom for four. And this is all through the nose. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. And open mouth, exhale, just to clear everything away. And now inhale through the nose for one, two, three, four, and hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale through your nose. One, two, three, four, and hold. Four, 
three, two, one. Inhale through your nose and continue to breathe like this for your own count at your own pace. Allow yourself to relax more and more into every breath. And sometimes when we hold our breath, we have a tendency to tense up the muscles of the face. Relax, let go, soften your eyes, your cheeks, and your jaw. One more round of breath. See if you can allow yourself to fall into an even deeper place of stillness, openness, calm. At the end of your next inhale, hold for four at the top. And a big open mouth exhale. (sighs) Relax the shoulders. Come back to a normal breath in and out through the nose. And let's just sit quietly for a few moments. Bring a soft awareness to the point between your brow and allow whatever arises, feelings, emotions, sensations, just allow everything to be. And keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to your knees and dip your chin to your chest. Roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Let the left shoulder fall away from that ear. Feel the nice stretch in the neck and then dip the chin to the chest. We'll take it to the other side. Left ear, left shoulder, and that right shoulder falls away from the opposite ear. Let's go back and forth like this a couple times, letting the weight of your head and gravity do all the work here. If it feels good, you can let your head fall all the way back and take some full circles, but if that doesn't feel good, then don't do it. Listen to your body. Do what feels most natural. As you inhale, sit up nice and tall. Keep the eyes closed. Right hand to the top of the head. And then just let the weight of your arm draw the right ear toward the right shoulder. Let the left shoulder fall away from the left ear. And now we're not pulling or using muscle strength to pull the head. Just letting the weight of the arm do the work here. Feel that beautiful stretch in the left side of the neck. You can look down a little bit here. Feel the stretch move into the back of the neck. And then look up once again. As you inhale, release that hand. Now let's do the other side. Left hand at the top of the head. And just let the weight of the left arm pull the left shoulder down to the ear. Right shoulder just falls away from the right ear and immerse in that feeling. Breathe into the places you feel sensation. Look down a little bit once again, moving into the back of the neck. And look up. Yeah, you inhale. Sit up nice and tall, release the head, blink your eyes open, reach up to the sky, and then cactus your arms, open mouth, exhale. (sighs) Sweep your hands behind your back, interlace the hands, draw the knuckles down and away, dip your chin to your chest once again, and again, roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Now we're getting a different part of the neck and shoulder in this stretch, and Left ear to the left shoulder. You can go back and forth like this, looking up and around. Find the places in your neck and shoulder that feel tight to you and just find your own little movements, your own little nuances here. Keep 
interlacing the fingers, drawing the hands away from the body to deepen the stretch. Chin to chest, release the bind of the hands, lift up your head, again, reach up nice and tall, cactus the arms, open mouth, exhale. <sighs> nice. Sweep your legs around behind you. Let's come into tabletop, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. We'll move through a few cat cows. So wrap the elbows in, grip the mat, push the heart forward, draw the shoulders back on the inhale. Exhale, round and flex, push into the earth, draw your navel into your spine and feel the upper back flex. Inhale, heart forward, shoulders back, open the upper back and exhale, round and flex. Let's move a few more times like this with your own breath at your own pace and allow yourself to be a little creative here. Just listen to your body. Move in a way that feels expressive and free, joyful. Sometimes I like to make circles with the hips, sinking the hips back to the heels on the exhale. Big breath in, wrap the elbows in. Whatever it is, let your body lead you. You don't even have to look at me. Just listen to where you're being drawn and called. Let's come back to a tabletop. Curl your toes, lift your hips, and push back to downward dog. We'll take a few breaths here. Pedal your feet, bend one knee, and draw the opposite heel down to the earth. Big full breaths as you move. Coming to stillness here. Wrap the elbows in. Bring more weight to the index finger and thumb. Feel the upper back broaden as the armpits hollow a little bit. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Lift the tailbone and push the thigh bones toward the back wall, feeling the heels draw down toward the earth and feeling a beautiful stretch in the back lines of the legs. Take a great big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Slowly walk your feet to your hands at the top of your mat. Bend into your knees and wave up your spine. Let the upper body and head hang heavy. And as you stand tall, lift your head, sweep your hands to the sky. Palms meet overhead and draw your hands in prayer together at your heart. Close your eyes. Take a couple breaths here. Feel the four corners of your feet rooted to the earth, your heart open, and the crown of your head lifting toward the sky. Inhale, blink your eyes open, sweep your hands up, and as you exhale, bow, fold over your legs. Halfway lift. Step the left foot back for pyramid pose. So spin the back heel down so that the left toes are turned out just slightly. Now you can use blocks to support your hands here if that feels good or hands on the floor. Straighten the front leg and fold over your extended front leg. Square the hips. So sometimes the right hip has a tendency to stick out to the right so draw it back toward the back heel so that the hips are squared and facing forward as you continue to fold. Feel that stretch. Inhale, halfway lift, a little bend into the front knee for triangle pose. So you can step the back foot back a little bit or adjust as necessary. Keep the back heel spun down. Maybe turn the left toes out a little bit more and then straighten the front leg. Right hand can come to the top of the foot, the shin, or even a block or the mat. Peel your left hand up to the sky. Gaze to that lifted hand. Now again, the right hip has a tendency to stick out here, so draw the right hip in toward the back heel. Open the heart and breathe. Your spine is nice and long, so draw the crown of your head forward Keeping the right leg, the front leg straight, inhale, rise up, turn all 10 toes to face the left side of the mat, reach up to the sky, star pose, and as you exhale, bend the knees, open the toes and the hips and sink into goddess pose. I like a little movement, right, in my goddess pose, so as you come down, maybe shift or sway side to side. 
and finding a nice deep rooted grounded position spread the fingers wide close your eyes can you relax through the upper body relax your face your cheeks your jaw one more breath settle in as you inhale blink your eyes open turn all ten toes forward reach to the sky another scar pose and exhale swan dive into wide leg forward fold hands to the mat underneath the shoulders and walk your fingers in line with the toes as you fold Shift your body weight forward. Bring more weight into the balls of your feet and feel the crown of your head draw down toward the earth. You can deepen here by grabbing the outsides of the ankles and pull the heart back toward the thighs. That's just an option. Breathe. As you inhale, halfway lift hands to the mat. Turn over the right shoulder, low lunge facing the top of the mat. And bring the back knee down so the left knee is stacked underneath the left hip. Untuck the back toes and sweep your hands up to the sky. Anjaneyasana. Right hand grabs the left wrist and reach up and over to the side here. Inhale, release the wrist, both hands to the sky. Big breath. And as you exhale, bow off the left corner of your mat, swivel the back knee so that the left toes face off the right side of the mat and sink your hips toward that back heel as you bow. This is a beautiful stretch in the inside of the front hip and a nice decompression of the spine. Breathe, relax. As you inhale, rise up, unswivel the back knee so that the left toes face straight back, both hands to the inside of the front foot, toe heel your front foot a little to the right here for lizard pose, and then scoot the left knee back, 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 and keep going until you feel a nice stretch in the front of that left hip. Front knee is stacked over the front ankle, and you can stay on your hands here, or you can come down to the elbows, perhaps the elbows to, to a block. Close your eyes and breathe. Really getting into the hips. Just allow the sensation. Allow your breath to dissolve any tension that you find. As you inhale, come to your hands, if not already there. Curl the back toes under and lift your left knee off the mat. Step your left foot to the outside of the left hand for Malasana squat. Bring your palms to the heart in prayer if you're able. If you're unable to get the heels down here, that's okay. You can use a blanket or um, cushions underneath the heels, or you can just leave the hands on the floor in front of you staying on the balls of your feet and just let the heels draw down toward the mat. Either version. Close your eyes. Let's take a few breaths here. Hug your knees in toward the elbows. Press the elbows out toward the knees. Lift your heart and the crown of your head up toward the sky. Blink your eyes open, hands to the mat. Turn the left toes to face forward here and step your right foot way back for lizard. Now we're gonna do that whole sequence in reverse. Bring the right knee down to the mat, untuck the right toes, and keeping your left knee over the left ankle, take the version of lizard that works for you. Staying on the hands, coming to the knees, couple breaths close your eyes once again really take your time here as you inhale come back to your hands move your right knee forward stacking the knee underneath the right hip 
swivel the back knee so that the toes face off the left side of the mat. Reach off the right corner of your mat and sink your hips toward the back heel for an Anjane lunge. Close your eyes and feel. Breathe. As you inhale, rise, unswivel the back knee. So now the right toes are facing straight back. Front knee over front ankle. Reach your hands up to the sky. Big breath. This time the left hand grabs the right wrist and a big side stretch up and over to the left. Inhale, release the wrist, both hands to the sky. Big breath, reach up. And as you exhale, hands come down, frame the front foot, lift the back knee, low lunge, and walk your hands over to the right, turning all 10 toes off the long side of your mat for a forward fold. Walk your fingers in line with the toes and let gravity pull the crown of your head down toward the earth. Again, stack the hips over the ankles here, so shift the body weight forward into the balls of the feet. Same option here. You can grab the ankles if you wish. As you inhale, slowly rise to the halfway point. Let's stay in the halfway lift for just a moment. Bring your hands to your hips, extend the crown of your head forward, long spine, and then slowly Rise up, lifting from the low back into star shape. Reach your hands up to the sky, big breath. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, turn the toes and the knees outward into goddess. Let's root into the earth here. Again, a little sway maybe, side to side. Close your eyes and bend deeply in the knees, bringing the thighs parallel to the mat. Relax the upper body. Just allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to be present with sensation. And as you inhale, blink your eyes open, straighten the legs, turn all 10 toes to face forward, hands to the sky, star pose. And as you exhale, open into triangle. So open the arms, turn the front foot so the toes face forward. Back foot is turned out a little bit here and then reach as far as you can with the left fingertips hinging from the hips into triangle pose. Left hand to the shin or to the top of the foot or to a block. Gaze to that lifted hand. Again, notice the position of the hips here. So if your butt sticking out to the left, draw it back in, stack the hips, stack the ribs, and long, long spine here. So reach the crown of the head forward. From here, look down, bend gently into that front knee. Step the back foot, hands frame the front foot for pyramid pose. So step the back foot forward just an inch or two. And then keeping the back heel spun down, now turn the back toes a little more forward. So you're still rotated in the back foot, but the toes face, the angle is smaller. Fold over the straight front leg. Again, check the position of the hips here. If your butt's sticking out to the left, draw the hips in toward the back heel and fold. A couple sweet breaths. As you inhale, halfway lift, bend gently into the front knee and step your back foot forward to meet the front foot. Bend into the knees and wave up your spine. As you inhale, reach both hands to the sky. Palms come together and slice right down through the midline of the body. Empty the breath. Halfway lift. We step back to plank pose here. Hold plank for just a moment. Wrap the elbows in, draw the navel into the spine and as slow as you can, Lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes for a soft cobra pose. Slide the hands back a little bit. Press into the heels of the palms and push your heart forward as you draw the shoulders back. Open the upper back. Exhale, lower. Hips to heels, child's pose. 
and let your forehead come to rest softly on the mat. Breathe and feel into the earth. As you inhale, sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around in front of you for some Janyu Shashasana. So extend the left leg long, bring the sole of the right foot inside that left thigh. Big breath as you reach tall and exhale, fold over your straight front leg. Take it nice and slow here. Just let the upper body melt over your extended leg. Take a slight internal rotation of your left leg. So turn the toes and the knees slightly inward. Feel your left sit bone spread open a little on the mat and continue to fold. Don't force anything, right? Just listen to your body and take it nice and slow. This should feel relaxing, calming. Inhale, slowly rise. Bring your right hand to the mat behind you. Press and lift your hips. Sweep your left fingertips up and overhead for stargazer pose. Really reach from your left toes to your left fingertips. Wiggle the fingers and take some big sweeping circles with that left hand in one direction. Opposite way. Slowly lower your hips and we'll take the other side. Extend the right leg long. Sole of left foot comes inside the right thigh. Big breath, reach tall. And exhale, fold again. Listen to your body here. Don't push or force anything. As Soon as you find resistance, that's your body telling you, slow down, listen, pay attention. Again, a little internal rotation of the right leg. So the right knee and the toe turns inward just ever so slightly. The right sit bone spreads open on the mat as you continue to fold. Inhale, rise. Left hand to the mat behind you. Press and lift your hips. Sweep the right hand up and over and feel that line of energy from the ball of the right foot through your fingertips. Wiggle, breathe, reach. Big sweeping circles with that right hand. One way, opposite way. Beautiful, slowly sit your butt to down on the mat. Extend both legs long. And let's come all the way to your back. Hug knees into your chest. Close your eyes and Take a little rock side to side here. Feel the earth beneath you. Feel the breath inside of you. Take your feet up in the air, happy baby. Grab the outside edges of your feet and gently pull the feet towards you, letting the knees angle in toward the armpits as the feet spread open a little bit. Close your eyes. Let your low back relax down to the mat and we'll just stay here for a few moments. Maybe a little rock side to side. Let's take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Release your feet and melt into Shavasana.
bring movement to your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrists and ankles. As you inhale, take your hands overhead and stretch. Big breath and feel your breath filling the body with calming, grounding energy. Exhale, knees into chest. And roll to your right side. Slowly push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat. Close your eyes and bring your palms to heart center. Raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. And we bow to one another in light and in love. Namaste. If you enjoyed this practice, you enjoy my teaching, subscribe to my channel and check out my Patreon account. Link is below in the video description. It's an opportunity for you to support the making of these videos and it gives you access to special live stream events like Tea Time with David. And speaking of Tea Time with David, the first one is happening um, Sunday, November 29th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's an opportunity for us to just hang out and chat, get to know one another. We talk about yoga, we talk about health and wellness, and I answer your questions. Super fun. Check out my Patreon site for that. Love you all. Thank you.